It's a sign that fall is almost here. You may have already noticed the leaves on some of the trees around here are already starting to turn. For the second year in a row, USA Today named the Laurel Highlands as one of the country's best fall foliage destinations. And joining me now live over Zoom is the Director of Public Relations for Go Laurel Highlands, Anna Welts. Anna, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me. The flowers have been awesome this year, so can we expect to see extra colorful leaves this fall? I think all of the ingredients we need for a wonderful, stunning fall foliage season are here and ready to go. Um, looking at you, Ray, hopefully you can get your blessing there, but we've had plenty of rain, we've had tons of sunshine, and I, I think we're on track here. Do you have any secret spots that you can pass along for some of the best peep leaf peeping in your area? Okay, just between us, yes. Um, so obviously a lot of folks have heard of Ohio Pile State Park. It's probably the most synonymous state park for our region. But if you're looking to try out a new park, my personal favorite, and don't tell anyone, is uh, Laurel Hill State Park. It's a higher elevation state park with a beautiful lake and mm -hmm. awesome trails and great diversity in trees to provide great color. So we have to nail the timing here. So do you have any tips about that? So we always guesstimate here about mid-October. Okay. The higher the elevation for your destination, a little bit earlier. So plan for the first two or three weekends in October. Okay, so we still have time to clear the schedule for all leaf peeping activities. If, say, you know, you're, you're also looking to do something else while, while you're down there, what are some of the other things? Do you have a must-do list for a first-time visitor? For a first-time visitor coming to the Laurel Highlands, obviously you're going to want to check off that bucket list and visit Frank Lloyd Wright's Falling Water, a UNESCO World Heritage designation right here in our Laurel Highlands. Mm -hmm. um, for additional architecture buffs, uh, sites, you can visit Kentuck Knob and Polymath Park. Of course, if you have little ones, don't miss out on Halibut at Idlewild. It's a must do. Definitely approved by my daughter. Yes. <laughs> um, if you enjoy a scenic drive, check out the covered bridges within our area. We have a handy map on our website to guide you to those. And certainly take a drive up the mountain and visit the Flight 93 National Memorial. Those would be my, my top hits for a first time mm -hmm. visitor. And I saw that you have a wonderful website where literally it'll be like for this weekend, see the 40 events happening. <laughs> Yes, our events calendar has no shortage of fun. Whatever you're into, if it's haunted houses and corn mazes or beer tastings or family festivals, check out our website. We've got a plenty of events for you to, to experience. All right. Well, Anna, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I'm excited. All right.